Hey guys, Rob with Shell Repair here, and in this video, we're going to show you how to get straight lines on your coaching launches bottom paint. Here we have a St. Joe's University Stillwater Solo launch that we have completely disassembled, power washed, cleaned up, and scuffed the current bottom paint with a general purpose Scotch Brite. And here's pretty much the whole premise of this video. You're gonna start the tape at one end of the pontoon, roll it all the way out, pull it tight, and lay it down right in a straight line all at once. And then you'll go back and make sure it's all pressed down into that line so you get a nice clean line on that bottom paint. And you just do that four times and it's pretty much good to go. Now here the side closest to the camera is the front of the launch and since it was previously bottom painted up these fronts I'm just going to match that old bottom paint with the new bottom paint. Next up, since the bottom paint is going to splatter a little bit, you're going to want to mask off the rest of the boat with some masking paper below the tape lines. So my video was actually cut short here, but here's what it looks like with all of that masking paper. And it's ready to go with the bottom paint. At this point, if you haven't scuffed up the old bottom paint, you can do that now and just make sure it's really clean before the new bottom paint goes on. You can use a tack rag and just clean all the dust off so that the new bottom paint sticks really well. So right here you can actually see that third pontoon right in the middle was not masked up but I did do that before I started and bottom painted that as well. So now on to the bottom paint and I'll speed this up because it's pretty boring. It's just rolling paint onto the boat. It's not very difficult. So when I'm bottom painting a boat I like to work in about a four foot section and what I'll do is I'll get the entire area covered with bottom paint and then when the roller is a bit dry I'll go over the entire section nice and evenly again just to even it out. It's not really necessary because the bottom paint flattens out and dries pretty uniform but in our shop everything matters so we always overdo it or don't do it. Alright, so now when you're done with the bottom paint, what you can do to save some material is actually squeeze the excess out of the roller and store it back into your gallon of bottom paint so it's there for you to use next time and you'll actually be surprised how much you can squeeze out of that roller. Thank you. 
And now I'm just bringing the camera in so you can see what it looks like while it's still wet. And it's got a nice even coat on it. You want to go back and make sure you haven't missed any spots, especially on the insides. Um, as I was going along the boat, I could see I had missed a couple spots. I had to go back and hit them. And now with all of the masking removed, you can really see how straight those tape lines are. So taping that entire line down all at once really makes a difference in how these come out. And here's what it looks like fully reassembled. So all of the products we used in this video can be found in the description below. If you like these videos and want to see more, please leave a like, subscribe, and thank you for watching Shell Repair USA, the world's greatest boat shop.